Look at people like DJ Academics, right? Oh, shit! Yeah. I ask him for help first person. Right. I tell him all the details. He says, Right, you call me, like, you call me the phone. He's gonna be there for me. Uh-huh. We Leading up to the event, he doesn't have a single thing to say. Uh-huh. Yeah, cause stop asking me, nigga, when you're talking to me, stop talking about Drake and them niggas, bruh. Stop talking about Drake and them niggas, bruh. Go manifest your shit somewhere else. Go get other niggas fired from their jobs and shit. You feel me? Imagine me, me spamming Drake. Drake, Fousey needs you. Fousey fucking needs you. Drake, Drake, Fousey's outside your... Drake, Fousey is outside your club. You need to meet him. He is the one. Drake, Aubrey, Orbs, Orbs, yo, Orbs, you gotta go outside. Fousey's out there. No, his name is Rose now. Rose, go, go talk to him. Yo, nigga, every time I see this nigga DM me with, with Drake... I didn't even open it. The fuck? I see it pop up. Something, something, something. It's important news. Bro, I need Drake. <laughs> Dismiss notification. Bro, don't DM me about no other niggas. DM Champagne Poppy. You on Instagram? Yo, I wish if somebody... Well, don't hack Drake. But if, I wish somebody could get Drake DMs. This nigga probably got a million messages from this nigga. Come on. He ignores every single text, every single call. Right. I talk to him on hey, July 15th, he doesn't say anything. He sees what happened. He's uh, my homie. Nah, I don't, nah. I talked to you on that day and I asked you what was up. I told you I couldn't come. In real life. Uh -huh. And before even calling me to hold say, on, hey, bro, you doesn't say anything. He sees what happened. He's uh -huh. my homie in real life. Cut this out, man. This is, this is where this nigga started making up lies. I met Drake. No, you didn't, nigga. I don't know you. <laughs> you think it's something his homie in real life. If if you call me a homie because we talked on the phone for like 10 minutes and I DM'd you back like three times, that's your homie? I imagine what you call these niggas behind you who you're calling your brothers. If I'm your homie. I imagine what you probably gave these niggas a fucking like little a little kids meal at McDonald's and they are your best friends. They're your family. You don't know me, nigga. What's up with this guy? You need real friends. You're in high, I keep saying it. Come back to Jersey. You live in Princeton, nigga. You got a house out there. You live in Princeton. Come back Come back here. You wilding out out there. You, you, you getting industry friends and thinking you got friends. That's not your friend, nigga. The fuck? He's my homie in real life. In, in, in what life? I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Don't tell me that God spoke to you on my behalf now. Yo, Fousey, this is God. You and academics are homies. Fousey, yes, 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 yes. I've done, the, I've done the work, Fousey. Yes, I have confirmed the homie pass. You and academics are homies. What are you talking about, Fousey? Fousey! He's my homie in real life. No, nigga. <laughs> You're a creator that I fuck with because you, you made interesting vlogs. And when we played in the Fortnite tournament, I acknowledge you, show sure respect. I, of course, know who you are. You called me and you told me a dope idea. And because I really fuck with you as someone who I think you're entertaining when you're sane. And even when, like, sometimes you go through hardships, just not when you're on this manic shit. Yeah. But we ain't homies, nigga. We ain't, we ain't chill. We ain't get a drink together. We ain't do nothing. You've never seen me in life. How the hell are we homies? And before even calling me to say, hey, bro, you good? Yeah. I just saw you on the news. Hey, Keemstar and all these people are saying you're suicidal. Is it true? Right. He goes on to his bozo-ass Instagram account that people only use him for clout for, right. and he goes, YouTuber Fousey lies about getting Drake. Bitch, I never lied a day in my Let's not, Fousey, let's not act like you didn't hit me up because you wanted the clout for this event to be huge. <laughs> you wanted the hip-hop, like, fear into it. My nigga, you promised all these rappers, and notice the ones I'm going to call their names out. Nigga, the biggest act you had, you had at your joint was Mano, okay? <laughs> you clickbaited fucking Drake gonna be here. The biggest artist you had at your event was Mano, okay? <laughs> Come on, bro. My damn life. Wow. But you okay. just hold me out for money, and you will never be... How did I hold me out for money? I didn't even do a YouTube story on it. Why would I do... Imagine me doing a YouTube story on Tube and Drake. No, I want to hear Keemstar talk about that. Not me. The fuck am I talking about Tube for? What? able to say anything to my face because I'll stare at you like a man with God inside me God's love and I'll be like you ain't a man you a bitch I'll stare at you with God's love and say you a bitch Fousey you live in Princeton when you get back to Jersey 
Let me finish this, this part. No cap. That's facts. I'll say that in front of your face, your partner's faces, and your whole family's face, bruh. You Fools, you sure about that? We pull up on you in Princeton, you say that, everybody? When you come back to Jersey, you say that? Stop this internet shit, bro. This is not going to end in a boxing tournament. Stop this. If that's what you want, say less. Just say, say no more. Just, just, nigga, you live in, you, just, all you got to do, I'm in Jersey. Man, what are you talking about? You've been on my Instagram account way too long, bro. <laughs> you disrespected me as a human. Damn. Fuck you, bro. There's enough money to be made by promoting. Fuzzy, I ain't made no money off you, you idiot. I posted a story on my Instagram. I don't make money off Instagram like that. What are you talking about? I posted that Drake don't fucking know you. How'd I make money off you? You're delusional. Holding the good shit that I did. This I don't cover you, nigga. I don't care if you gave away a car, a million dollars. I just love the fact that the, the biggest rapper in the world just said some nigga who was cloud chasing used his name. I don't know you. Just like everybody ran with the story when it said, you know what I mean? Other conversations I've had with Drake, but when Drake said on his Instagram live, did for my live academics that made all the blocks. You know why? It's fucking funny. Him saying he don't fucking know you why you said you met him and you saw him eye to eye. That's fucking funny. I ran it. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> $6,000 I just gave to the Mexican kid that I found at the beach who shared with me his dreams. I wanted... You just stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry. You stupid as a motherfucker. <laughs> a million dollars in 48 hours so I yeah. can do the Staples Center and all this shit. Yeah. I got no funds on me right now. Uh. My brother hits me up and goes, yo, my family's in need. Can I get 5,000? Uh. I hung up that phone and I sent it to him. Wow. This sounds like a simp ass nigga with a bank account, man. Hey, listen, all you bitches fly to Dubai, man. Hit up this nigga, bro. <laughs> this nigga's an easy lick. This nigga think giving away money is God telling him to do it. Everybody DM Fousey that you want 5,000. 100%. <laughs> if him going crazy, and this is why I feel a little bad, but fuck it, man. <laughs> a nigga like this gotta go dead broke before shit really even happen. Everybody go get five racks off this nigga, man. This nigga's stupid as a motherfucker. <laughs> hey, my brother called me in. Okay, everybody go. Yo, chat niggas, y'all need five racks, because I ain't giving y'all. Go get it from this bitch ass nigga right here, bro. Real talk. <laughs> Tell him God is on my side. God, what are you talking about? That's, that's, that's I'm showing good. the world, showing God, showing myself that even if I don't have it, I'll give. Okay. Well, that's good, man. That, that's good that you have a good like head on your shoulders and, and a good heart. You know Thank what I'm saying? You. That God you bless. care about people. God so, bless. That's good. That Fuck you, I say to your face. God bless. God bless. God bless. Yo, what's up with this nigga, bro? Here, man, and, and I don't know why academics would do that. I mean, maybe something with him. Maybe that he was just looking for that Sir, as a point. He was what's trying your to name? push. Uh, Hollywood fix nigga, shut the fuck up nigga and stop gassing it. Eh, bruh, stop acting like I'm homie with this nigga, bruh. You know how much shit I get it fucking invited to? I'm neither, I'm none of y'all friends. I'm not, don't be thinking we cool nigga. You don't got a contract for me to be somewhere. Don't expect shit, bruh. I don't be, I don't be asking y'all to chill. I don't be asking, I never hit one of y'all niggas phones in my life. Fousey, it was you that was after you. you. This is a story I heard through Keemstar in the documentary and some other shit. I think he even said it all. No jumper. Nigga went to Australia, had a meetup, and like 300 people showed up. That's a lot. But in this fucking clout demon's mind, this nigga who can't... You remember when he was at the top and maybe 2,000 people would show up? This fucking weirdo says, yo, let me get back on top because my clout low. You spent a bunch of money trying to throw an event, thinking you had some song that was going to wow the world. And everybody clowning you. Duh. Stupid. You feel me? That's it. Stupid. That's it. And everybody showed up, went on stage like, this is interesting. Got their little clout tokens dipped and made hella videos on you. Stupid. Yes. You the only one that lost bread. Stupid. It's a fact. You probably thought all them niggas was your homies. Niggas is doing documentaries just show niggas how stupid you really are. And you over here, God's with me. Ah, stupid. <laughs> like, are you crazy? Getting finessed like that, bro? Come on, bro. Come on. You can do better. You could. Fletch. Fletch. Yeah. You know why they do it. It's the same reason Perez Hilton does it. It's the same way Yahoo does it. The same reason Google does it. They click bait to get clicks, to get more views, to put more AdSense in their pocket. Right. They Is this nigga think he's battling Papa Doc in 8 Mile, bro? You better cut it out. 
They're scared to go outside and do something else. Right. So they'll continue battering somebody down. Okay. Keemstar tweeted one time and he said, uh. I'm falling into a depression. I have no news. Uh. You don't mean news. You have you mean something unfortunate that happened to somebody that you're gonna capitalize off of and tell everybody in the world so they can be thinking about it and talking about it, okay. spreading more negative energy in the world. So you think why is it your obligation to post the news? Oh, what about CNN and everything? I don't believe in CNN either. Why the fuck are we showing the wars we have going on in the world? Why are we showing the devastation, the killings? Why not for once, instead of showing a black man doing something wrong on national television, we show all the good that they do. And okay. we celebrate people when they do it. Okay. Shout out to LeBron James. Okay, so you think so you think Keem needs to be responsible with reporting more positive nah. news? I'm gonna create a channel and do that myself. Okay. I can't tell another man how to live their lives. Right. I can't tell another man how to put money in their pocket. True. But I can look at that man and say, I don't respect you for how you make yours. That's true. That's I true. put no, money on my it. family's table without having to do that shit. Okay. The worst that I did was fake pranks. Bitch, y'all faked your whole career. What you talking to me about fake pranks for? Okay. Fuck out of here with that. Are you going to start back doing more more vlogs and more new I'm not a YouTuber no more. You're not. Okay, now why is that? Why, why, why? Didn't this motherfucker do some pranking in the hood shit, bro? What the fuck is this nigga on, bro? Why did you stop? Because I'm an artist. Okay. I'm an author. I'm an actor. I'm a motivational speaker. Okay. I'm a best-selling author at New York Times. I'm a, record, a platinum recording artist. Okay. I'm going to make movies with Spiel. What the fuck is this nigga? This is what I'm saying. Yo, this manifestation and law of attraction shit, bro. This nigga's neither of these things. Is it more I'm not a YouTuber no more. You're not. Okay, now why is that? Why why, why did you stop? Because I'm an artist. Okay. I'm an author. I'm an actor. I'm a motivational speaker. Okay. I'm a best-selling author at New York Times. I'm a record... A plat New York Times. This nigga sound like one of them bitches on Instagram that has put a bunch of fuck shit in their bio trying to get booked. Yo, what the fuck is this nigga talking about? What platinum song you record, nigga? Where, nigga? What's <laughs> up with this guy, bruh? Yo, even this thing, yo, you gotta look at this niggas in the back faces, yo. Th their faces tell the truth. They yes man, but they can't deny it. Like, what the fuck is this nigga on? Look at this nigga right here, like. He gotta say that. What the? Look at this thing. I'm recording artists. Okay. I'm gonna make movies with Spielberg. Wow. I'm gonna the, this thing is embarrassed. Why am I with this clown, yo? Yo, you probably think right, I'm gonna get a bag off this fool, man. Fuck it, man. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. I have songs with Kanye West. Damn. People wonder why are you dropping all these names? Uh -huh. This thing ain't got no fucking song with Kanye West. He's a liar. <laughs> the fuck? Because I'm saying the names out into the universe of people who I want to be friends with because okay. I'm sick of the bozos who I have right now other than this family. Okay. Okay. So, so these guys are cool. So I say Drake's name. Yeah. I say J. Cole because I know soon come I'm going to be in front of all of them and they're going to be posting my speeches and saying rumble young man rumble help be the change in this world. Now you now you now do you. Let me just tell you this. Do you know this, Jake Paul? Are, are you friends with Jake, Jake or Jake? J. Cole. Jake Paul. I talk to Jake Paul every day. <clears throat> okay, because because I know because you were you know one of the original you know bigger YouTubers before. That's why this nigga salty, bro. This nigga was the top of the. Imagine it's like what Nikki's going through a little bit. I hate to throw Nikki into it. It's like yo, you used to be the fucking top of the top. Now you just mid tier, dog. Flip it and do something else. That's why you're you could be creative, but still chasing that one thing that made you like hella clout famous, like. If he was as talented as he said, all right, nigga, go act and get that clout back up. Because trust me, I don't think money motivates this nigga. I think it's fucking clout. This nigga just wants everybody to grovel at his feet because he thinks he's God. Before, yes, sir. before he came out. The so. day Logan, but the day before Logan started his YouTube channel, right, that's fine. Right. Because now no longer am I going to go home after this video is posted and read the comments of what other people on this earth who have never met me have to say about me. Right. Y'all can say whatever the fuck you want. The only person I answer to is God. Wow. Okay. I serve God five times a day, every single day of my life, and I, I wish I could serve him more. He's giving me these ideas. He's the one telling me to say these things. He's the one who put Fletch in front of me. All right, this nigga is great, bro. God didn't tell you a damn thing, nigga. This is one of them I hear voices in my room, ass niggas. I see shadows in my dreams. Uh, what the fuck is this nigga? Right now, because he wants to help me get my message out. That's true. Well, man, I, I, I wish you the best, and I hope everything works out, and, and, and definitely I'm glad to hear your positive message. I'm glad to hear, you know what I'm saying, that you're doing well, you, you know what I'm saying, and, and that I, I wish you the best of luck, man. I hope I hope that everything does work out. I love we'll, you. Can I get, we'll, you don't like being on camera, huh? I'm going to give you, you a hug off camera. <laughs> all right. But let me cool. tell you one thing, yeah. one last thing. To all the people who had the audacity... Hey, 
to try. What you got? Yeah, let me buy. Everybody buy something. I got you. Yeah, everybody. Whoever. I gotta support the people. I got no money right now, but I gotta support the people. Wow, okay. <laughs> but check this out. Okay. Check this out. All right. Before any of y'all over the internet decide to give somebody advice or mental health advice, before running and making a YouTube video about it, and I'm not even talking about coming to me and seeing how I'm doing first. Look at your goddamn self in the hey, mirror. Hey, I, I ain't gonna lie, man. I think I'm done with this shit. But all I'm gonna say is that, listen, man. Fousey, I hope you, you realize that this whole I'm crazy, but now I'm saying shit, it only works for white people. You're brown, nigga. We're not forgetting the bullshit you did when you, you finally come back down, all right? We gonna remember, especially me. I'm remembering all this bullshit you was talking, all right? Don't come back like you fucking went to Israel and got fucking dumped in holy water and now you're cool and we ain't on that, nigga. Stay, you better stay this person for life, okay? I, I don't want to hear that you, like you were tripping, you apologize, now you're, nah, fuck out of here. Okay, just stay this same person. I want this energy for life. Because when you come back with that little I'm sorry, it's because that's because you realize this little trip you thought that was going to take it to the top actually just ruins your shit. Now you got to try to humble up and try to appeal to people like, oh, I'm not, get the fuck, keep being this same person. We give too much, too many of these fuck niggas, like, chances, bro. This nigga is richer than a motherfucker and complaining like a bitch. Like, think about this shit, man. Y'all niggas are broke watching this nigga. And he's acting like he's on his fucking period. You know what I mean? They don't want me to hit. You acting like a hoe. Bruh. If, if niggas like this would realize how fortunate they are and wouldn't be online just complaining like hoes, you feel me? Like, yo, it's it's like the Kanye West thing. Like, niggas dealing with police killing people. This nigga complaining about the fashion people don't want me. I'm gonna get, they don't like me. I'm, get the fuck out of here. Nobody care about your rich nigga problems, bro. Nobody care about the fact that you had to, what's your chance? You had to buy, you had to pay how much? Nigga, who cares? Shut the fuck up. Stay this person for life. Because I'm telling you, I'm going to give it a timeline, and we can take bets on it. I'm going to say a year. When this bitch nigga comes down from this high, and he's like, oh my God, I'm sorry. And he he's going to do a joint, trust me, tears will be involved. He's going to, like, like fucking maybe act like he's going to rehab. Nigga, I'm going to treat you like this nigga for life. I'm not. I, I really don't be into apologies. I ain't going to lie to you. It, it, make sure you stay this motherfucking nigga right here. Because... Low key, this is a clout move, and this shit just not working. It's backfired. I think that's why he's getting mad. The more he spends money, you see a nigga like him, he thinks that oh, okay, all right, y'all supposed to cover what I want y'all to cover. Don't cover the crazy shit. Just cover me giving away money. Show I'm a good guy. Man, shut the fuck up, bro. Anyway, let's see. Ask yourself, are... is is this nigga like popping or something, bro? The last I saw, I seen this nigga like smoking weed on Twitch. I mean, I'm like. Shrinky? <laughs> Bruh, I thought I was for like the little, the little, the little uncared about YouTubers like me. I don't smoke weed, that's just drink, but. Nigga, get back. I don't even know, man. Bruh, this is like signs of falling off, my nigga. Fuck. So once I'm talking about him, oh yeah, I love clowning a nigga like this. Bruh. You know, hold on. The reason why I don't like, I don't mind talking about him, no matter what I say, will not give his desired goal any. Yo, this nigga is destroying himself in front of us. We just like seeing it. Everybody got their roasting of him. I gotta get mine. In. Fuck it. And, and and I'm not one of them other YouTubers. Like even though I do want him to seek help, I'm not no nigga to help no nigga, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna be. Oh, fool, let me help you. Despite the crazy shit. I ain't that nigga. Gave you some good advice. You told him about come see me to my face. All right, come to Jersey. Okay, and then we'll, we could meet up or whatever. We could talk. All the saving shit, nigga, if you in the giveaway money mood, give away it to all the fans, man. You're right. You, you too fucking privileged. God wants you to give away your money. Give it away, nigga. You feel me? Like, I'm sorry. I'm one of them niggas. Like, remember when Adrian Broner was up on Instagram? In five minutes, I'm about to do it. And I won't mention what it is. In five minutes, I'm ending it all. <laughs> I remember Wack 100 once said, Nigga, fuck five minutes right now. <laughs> Bro, we ain't got time for this, man. <laughs> Are you okay? Okay. Well, I mean, $50 for two bottles. Bro, but
KOD tour because I'm manifesting, announcing you on stage in Staples Center where I say on July 15th I had a dream. Everyone welcome Jermaine Cole in honor of my dog Dollar who's covering my Dollar in a Dream tattoo who I named Dollar who passed away last year because... Hey, when these motherfucking rappers start putting this nigga on the same poster that Selena Powell and all the fucking stalkers are on to say do not let these niggas into my concert, I'm gonna get a picture of it and show ya. This nigga fucking batshit crazy, man. You think Cole about to kick it with him? You fuck? The hell, nigga, get away from me. Hell no, nigga. Trust me. Alright, anyway. Anyway, you know what I mean? Um, we tried to save the train wreck, but this nigga is too far gone, bruh. At this point, we just gotta watch and just fucking just watch where it goes next, man. But Fuzzy, stop talking all that tough talk, man. Stick to try to be like a little motivational speaker, whatever the fuck you want. Alright. That's it, alright? That's it. Okay, okay, okay. Someone said Cole might kick it with him. Maybe. But I know Drake said, I don't know that nigga, bro. <laughs> that shit probably, that's probably hurt his soul, bro. That nigga look, trying to look like Drake, you feel me? That nigga was on a whole wave where he was trying to be Drake, bro. You feel me? Like the like the, uh, the the Arabic Drake. Yeah, Drake like, I don't know this fuck nigga, dog. What the hell? Talking about he met me eye to eye and we looked and we nodded and the fuck? <laughs> bro. I was looking over the chubs to say, that fuck nigga, choke him out and get him out of the club. Choke that nigga out, bro. Choke him out. Get him out of here, coach. Yeah. I wasn't nodding at him like, oh, we get it. No, nigga. Chubbs. Baka. Baka, get off stage and stop performing. Choke that nigga out. Choke him out. Yeah, nigga. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you. Choke him out. Anyway. <laughs> oh, bro. The funniest thing is that, like, this looks so pathetic because YouTubers be so popular, but they don't realize sometimes the world that they're in is, like, different from, like, that pop culture rap world. Yeah, not every rapper knows the most popular YouTuber. And if, when you try to act like you're entitled, it, like, looks crazy. Anyway, all right, let's listen to <laughs> Trippy Red shit. But I, I can't even go further without, without, without this shit right here. This shit fire. No cap. Yo, Khaled, acting is not working out for me. Can I get on your album, maybe? Absolutely not. Bro, the way how that shit was cut, Khaled wasn't even on the phone with that nigga. That's the crazy part about it. Don't play yourself. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Brian. <laughs> Yo, I can't believe if I'm in the fucking club and this shit come on, though. Man, if I'm in a club, bro, I just, I'm in a club, follow my hand. You know I mean? Watching the bad bitches, they walking. I had to see this. <laughs> Rice ain't got no spirit. Got no deeper layer. One ghost writer. One ghost Fortnite player. One ghost thinker. One ghost Twitter poster. Add it up. That's a rice gum. Stole everything in his life. Um, the king's back. I look around. It's not the same. I'm sorry, man. I can laugh at this nigga for days, though. <laughs> for days. 